Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be discussing about the respiratory system in case of living organisms. Now, the respiratory system is very much different in different kinds of organism. The mechanism of respiration is also varied among different types of organisms. Now, the breathing habits actually depends on the habitat of a particular organism as well as the level of organ organization of the cells. That is, if an organism is made up of a single cell, that means bacteria. If an organism is made up of some more amount of cells or very complex organisms like human beings, which has numerous millions and billions of cells in the body. So based on the habitat and the level of organization of the body, the respiration is different. Now respiration is also a function or dependent on the complexity of the respiratory system. For example, the lower group of organisms, they have respiratory system which is dependent on the simple process of diffusion which is again dependent on the concentration gradient. So the gaseous exchange can happen simply based on the concentration gradient or by the process of simple diffusion. But in case of complex organisms like human beings, so these organisms have very well developed respiratory system and respiratory organs. So based on the complexity of the organism, the respiratory system also varies. Now let us take a look on the mode of respiration in some of the common types of organisms or animals. First of all, the lower invertebrates, for example, sponges and the flatworms, they perform respiration by the simple process of diffusion, which is again dependent on the concentration gradient. Now, in case of earthworms, they respire through the skin that is moist cuticle. These are basically dried or these are basically dead skin which is present on over the layers of the earthworm and it is moist actually. So, with the help of moist cuticle, the earthworms respire. In case of aquatic animals, they have developed an organ which is known as gills, for example, fish and tadpole which actually helps in their respiratory process. In case of amphibians, for example, frogs, they have an interesting system. While in case of, in case of uh, when the amphibians are living in aquatic environment, they can respire through the moist skin. Whereas when they are living in terrestrial environment, they respire through a well organized structure that is known as lungs. Similarly, in case of birds and mammals, these type of organisms have well developed system of the respiratory system, which and the ma main important organ for these type of organisms is the lungs. So in this video, we have introduced ourselves to the respiratory system. We have also talked about some of the respiratory system in different type of animals. I hope you have liked and understood this video. Thank you.